back to another walk down the beach side. We just finished. Today was an epic day. We had amazing visibility, probably 30, 40 foot for here. That's as good as it gets. Started the day with a bang. Um, Elijah grabbed a Guacamayo at 102 feet. He actually bottomed out the float line and was trying to get more float line. There was nothing more to give. So the bungee actually started stretching. And so he actually had the float uh, tombstoned while he was shooting that fish. So that was super impressive for first dive of the day for Elijah, but I guess not that impressive for somebody who's, you know, diving that all the time in Hawaii. So that was pretty cool to watch. Next up, Kirkman. Kirkman dropped down out of nowhere. A big Almaco showed up. He only had a real gun on him. Thank God he put a great shot into that fish. The fish was barely moving. Uh, we were able to get up to the surface pretty easily before it woke up back up and started fighting pretty hard. So that was cool. What we ended up seeing was just absolute magic. I dropped down behind Elijah because I just had a feeling, you know, with the Almaco Jack super high up in the water column, there was bait everywhere. I just had a feeling that something good was gonna happen. And I went behind him and I actually saw from a bird's eye view, um, all the Kuberas that were swarming him. When I saw him turn over his left shoulder and shoot, I was able to be there to help him grab the line and fight the fish up. Ended up being what I think is like a 40 pound uh, Kubera. Really nice fish. So at this point, the day's already pretty good. And Russell was fighting some congestion issues equalizing being a problem a little bit dehydrated it's super hot out here so he made a drop we were hoping to see if something would roll up sure enough right about 45 foot russell decided to shoot one that was even bigger so he shot a he shot a bigger almaco than kirkman um and that thing whooped our butt that was on a float line i was at depth getting dragged down while i was trying to work the float line up elijah was on the surface he said he was also getting dunked underwater so this fish literally pulled both of us and had its way with us. But we did end up getting the fish. At that point, it was uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. We wanted a nice, easy day. We get to go back home early, shower, get some food, watch the sunset. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Had awesome viz, awesome fish. Great start to the trip. We still have three more days, so let's see how that turns out. Good morning, good morning. I can see off in the distance over there. There's almost no waves. Bad for the surfers, good for us. Um, the swell is down. We're gonna be able to scoot on the Panga. We're probably going 30 miles off. It'd be awesome if we don't have to go that far and we find them much closer, but we should get into some tuna today. We had some reports of tuna being 18 miles off yesterday. So we're guessing that they're gonna continue moving in the direction they were moving yesterday. So we have an idea of where to go. It's still gonna be, you know, a search and rescue mission except we're not going to rescue them we're probably going to harm them at this point none of these guys have ever shot tuna before this is going to be a challenge one of the things that we're going to do is that we're going to jump in off the back of a moving boat uh, we're going to try to position ourselves in front of a school of dolphins uh, these guys are going to have to breathe up with their mask on their face snorkel in their mouth a loaded spear gun attached to a float line in a float when we say go they have to jump in dive down immediately i mean you get maybe maybe two three seconds for a breath right jump in Resituate yourself, make sure you're okay. Take a breath, go. You may get lucky, you may only have to go down 20 feet, probably gonna have to go 30, 40, 50 foot, which sounds super easy, you know? Oh yeah, I can dive 50 foot, no problem. But when you see hundreds of dolphins and tunas airing out a couple hundred yards away from you, the boat's running, you're excited, your heart's beating, boom, 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 boom. That 50 foot dive becomes much, much more difficult. And then even then, when you get to that 50 foot dive, you're probably gonna have to close the gap on some of these tuna and they're moving like rockets. Yeah, it's it's harder it's harder than it looks, harder than it seems. These guys are probably gonna have a good chance. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's gonna be a learning curve. My guess is that each of these guys are gonna miss the first chance they have, maybe the second chance as well. Um, I have yet to have somebody complete the mission, actually take their first dive, see the tuna, and shoot them, right? Sometimes it's not always their fault. Sometimes it's they make a dive, they did everything right. The tuna were just 30 feet the other way. It happens, we're gonna probably do 30 or 40 drops each guy. I call it the tuna grind. If you don't grind it out, you're probably not gonna have success. We're gonna be at it all day long. Okay boys, just got back on the boat, landed this beauty. <sighs> Nothing like the monsters I had on earlier. Constellation prize nonetheless. Beautiful, beautiful fish. They just got another one. Same stop, same drop, putting the finishing touches on it now there they go to go down and 
put one more shaft through its head. Kirkman there manning the float. Russell and CJ down on the finishing drop. Here they come back up. Go to the fish, bro. So Russell decided to go up to the fish. I was trying to creep on him slow. Hey, you could help him. But what you could do is when he's going to the fish, you could kind of pick the fish's head up. Hey, man, I'm going to eat you for the ground. 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 I'm going to eat so right now it's pulling the buoy down. That's how much fight it still has left. Hey, 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 hey. Swim it this way. Swim this
Swim that way. Swim this way. Hey, Russell, you see how you're facing the fish? Don't do that. Russell, you're facing the fish. Swim that way. Hey, pick a, pick a direction. That's the direction you go. CJ is putting the final touches on that other Shibi yellow fin. <laughs> there we go. We doubled up. Russell had a couple hits and it tore off. He finally sealed the deal. Kirkman took my class four months ago. When he took my class, he had never had any real freediving experience. And so when he comes on this trip, I was like, man, this guy, I really want this guy to get a fish. Of course, he struggles for most of the day, doesn't end up landing a tuna, but something I want to point out and is because he said, hey, look, I did 22 drops yesterday. He did 22 drops off the back of a boat, hitting 40, 50, 60. Oh my goodness, hold on, look at this. Sorry, I know it's rude to stare. And to put this into comparison, he was diving right up next to a guy named Elijah who dives in Hawaii, who's a hundred plus foot diver all day long. And that diver literally said, that is the hardest diving I've ever done. And he was getting, you know, some 70, 80 foot drops, but let's put that into perspective. That 110, 120 foot hunter was saying it was hard to do 70, 80 foot drops. So for Kirkman to be banging out 50, 60 foot drops, that that's a testament to how difficult that diving is he crushed it finally <laughs> put a fish in the boat Dude, after struggling for a few days, he gets his first wahoo in the boat. This is amazing. I'm stoked. <laughs> Russ got his first wahoo. It's our second Wahoo of the day. And as I'm taking videos of Russ's Wahoo, uh, Elijah just got on. So I'm gonna go help Elijah get that. I'm gonna put this gun in the boat. Uh, we just got three Wahoo in like less than 15 minutes. This is great.
log floating. Uh, everyone had gotten an Ono except me. I passed on a couple of mahi and I went down on a drop and I saw this little one come by and I figured everyone needs one in the boat. So I took the shot and got it up. Big rainbow rudder school cub in. I mean, this is nice. I mean, this is healthy. This is it's pretty much as big as these guys get. Unfortunately, I ended up losing my, my knife. He tangled up in the fad. Beautiful fish. He ended up tangling up. I had to try to kill him. And then, man, I lost it in the fight, but we got him in the boat. So that's awesome. These are amazing for sashimi. It's about almost the same size as these Wahoo. Oh, Russell, Wayne stoned his mahi. Look at that thing. Right in the off button. A bunch of these smaller wahoos are everywhere, man, but can't get enough of it. We're gonna keep shooting a couple more. They seem to be everywhere we look. There's just another wahoo. These are great for sushi, poke, you name it, and they grow super fast. They reproduce really quickly. I don't feel bad taking a handful of pelagics like this. This is world class. This is amazing. Drop on the tuna, went down to about 60 feet, start seeing them in front of me. This guy got a little bit too close. <laughs> size yellow fin. <laughs> nice size. That's what Woo! we come here for, man. <laughs> First time for bolt for this guy. Woo. It's as good as it gets, man. I keep saying that and it keeps getting better. How does it feel to get the monkey off the back? Oh, it feels great. Feels great. Now I just gotta go get the tuna monkey off our back. go off and uh, it's Russell and he decided to slide this fish oh boy. Woo! three tunas four wahoo a bahi a rainbow rudder I think we might take one more fish and go home early because it's only like dude so this is great that concludes the day, but we have more fish than we know what to do with, so we're gonna go home. Got a couple of wahoos, Dud Rainbow Runner, some tunas, the prize tuna of the day from the Iceman. This is Pura Vida right here. This is as good as it gets. Yeah, that was awesome. It really doesn't get better than that. We got all our stuff packed away. It's the middle of the day, and we're going home early with three tunas, four wahoos. Mahi, Rainbow Runner. I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything more. Just amazing.